So uh, many of these neurodegenerative diseases, like Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease, um, they're very different, but they have in common uh, protein misfolding. So um, proteins aggregate and accumulate in the brains of patients with these diseases, and these proteins can accumulate outside of neurons, like in Alzheimer's disease, plaques of a protein called amyloid beta accumulate in, in the brains, and this is outside of neurons, or neurofibrillary tangles within neurons, or in Parkinson's disease, these accumulations of a protein called alpha-synuclein accumulate in, within neurons, and these are called Lewy bodies. So the idea is that all of these diseases have in common protein misfolding and protein aggregates, and what we're interested in is trying to understand the cell biology under, underlying these protein misfolding diseases. What happens to the cell when these proteins aggregate and accumulate? To do this, Gitler and his team use yeast cells, which are easy to manipulate genetically and reproduce very quickly relative to mammalian cells, for example. By engineering yeast strains that express genes of interest, such as the ALS gene TDP43, the researchers can screen for other genes in the yeast genome that might also play a role in the disease pathology. So we have on this plate arrayed 768 different yeast strains different yeast strains, each harboring a single gene deletion. And on this plate, we have 768 different spots, but all of them are expressing TDP43. And we're going to use this robot to now automatically, in an automated fashion, mate the two yeast cells together and select for cells that have the gene deletion plus TDP43, and then we'll be able to ask which deletions make the cells grow better, which deletions make them grow worse. The mated yeast cells are then given time to grow, and the density of the resulting colonies yields candidate genes that either suppress or enhance the disease gene's toxic effects. Using this technique, Gitler and his lab group identify candidate disease genes, which they then test in a variety of model systems.